Limb regeneration. Scientists regrow frog's lost leg. Frogs were able to recover a functional, virtually full leg after being treated with a five-drug combination delivered by a wearable bioreactor. There are millions of patients who have lost limbs for various reasons, ranging from diabetes to trauma, and for whom the prospect of restoring function through natural regeneration is currently out of reach. Salamanders and superheroes are the only creatures who can regenerate their legs and limbs. Scientists at Tufts University and Harvard University's Weiss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering released a study in the journal Science Advances that brings us one step closer to the aim of regenerative medicine. Using an experimental five-drug cocktail placed in a silicon wearable bioreactor dome that sealed the elixir over the stump for just 24 hours, the researchers were successful in inducing the regeneration of a missing leg in adult frogs, which are naturally incapable of regeneration. That brief treatment sets in action an 18-month period of regrowth that allows the patient to regain use of his or her leg. Many species including salamanders, starfish, crabs, and lizards have the ability to completely regenerate at least a portion of their limb after being injured. Flatworms can even be dissected into fragments, with each piece reassembling to form a complete organism from the parts. Humans are capable of healing wounds with new tissue growth and our livers have a remarkable, almost flatworm-like ability to regenerate to their original size after suffering a 50% loss in size. Although it is possible to regenerate a limb that is huge and anatomically complicated such as an arm or a leg, this cannot be done in humans or mammals because there is no natural process of regeneration. As a matter of fact, we tend to cover severe wounds with an amorphous mass of scar tissue, which serves to protect them from future blood loss and infection while also inhabiting their expansion. Kickstarting regeneration. The Tufts researcher activated the healing process in African clawed frogs by enclosing the wound in a silicon cover, which they term a biodome, containing a silk protein gel infused with a five drug cocktail. Each medicine fulfilled a different goal, including tamping down inflammation, blocking the creation of collagen which would lead to scarring and encouraging the new growth of nerve fibers, blood vessels, and muscle. The combination of the bioreactor created a local environment and signals that tilted the scales away from the natural propensity to shut off the stump and toward the regenerative process. The researchers saw significant development of tissue in many of the treated frogs, recreating an almost totally functioning leg. The new limbs had bone structure extended with features akin to a real limb's bone structure, a greater complement of interior tissues including neurons, and multiple toes developed from the end of the limb, although without the support of underlying bone. The regrown limb moved and responded to stimuli such as a touch from a stiff fiber, and the frogs were able to make use of it for swimming through water, moving much like a normal frog would. It's thrilling to see that the medications we selected were helping to produce an almost complete limb, said Nerosha Morugan, research affiliate at the Allen Discovery Center at Tufts and first author of the publication. The fact that it required only a brief exposure to medications to start in motion a months-long regeneration process suggests that frogs and potentially other animals may have dormant regenerative capabilities that can be pushed into action. The researchers studied the processes via which the brief intervention could contribute to long-term growth. Within the first five days following therapy, they discovered the activation of recognized molecular pathways that are ordinarily used in growing embryo to help the body take shape. It is possible that activation of these pathways may allow the limb to handle the burden of tissue growth and organization on its own, similar to how it occurs in an embryo, rather than requiring constant therapeutic intervention throughout the several months it will take to grow the limb. Nairosha Morugan said, The fact that it required only a brief exposure to the drugs to set in motion a months-long regeneration process suggests that frogs and perhaps other animals may have dormant regenerative capabilities that can be triggered into action. The Biodome and its Operation The majority of animals that are naturally capable of regeneration reside in aquatic environments. Immediately following the amputation, the creation of a blastema, a mass of stem cells at the end of the stump, which is utilized to gradually restore the lost body part, marks the beginning of the process of regrowth. Within the first 24 hours following the injury, the wound is swiftly covered by skin cells, which protects the regenerating tissue beneath it from further damage. It can take many days to weeks for mammals and other regenerating creatures to heal from wounds that have been exposed to air or come into touch with the ground, said David Kaplan the Stern family professor of engineering at Tufts University and a co-author of the study. In the first 24 hours, the biodome cap helps to stimulate an amniotic-like environment, which, when combined with the appropriate medications, allows the healing process to occur without hindrance from scarred tissue. Steps to take with frogs and mammals 
previous study by the Tufts team showed that a single medicine, progesterone, may trigger a considerable amount of limb development when used in conjunction with the biodome. In contrast, the resulting limb assumed the shape of spike and was far from the more regularly shaped working limb that was developed in the current research. The 5 drug cocktail represents a significant step forward in the restoration of fully functional frog limbs, and it suggests that further exploration of drug and growth factor combinations may result in regrow limbs that are even more functionally complete, with normal digits, webbing, and more detailed skeletal and muscular features. The findings are published in the journal Nature. According to corresponding author Michael Levine, the Never Bush Professor of Biology in the School of Arts and Sciences at Tufts University as well as Director of the Allen Discovery Center at Tufts University and Associate Faculty Member of the Weiss Institute, will be testing how this treatment could apply to mammals next. According to the researchers, using a liquid environment under the biodome in conjunction with the appropriate pharmacological cocktail, he believes that the crucial first signals to begin the regenerative process in motion may be delivered. Rather than micromanaging complex growth, this technique is focused on reactivating dormant, intrinsic, anatomical patterning programs in mature animals who still have the information necessary to construct their own bodies. So this was our today's video about limb generation. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more regular updates.